Now, the last time you were here, nearly three, okay, over two years ago, okay, uh, then you were working as a senior assistant in the federal government, I think, I believe, uh, working on that uh, that act uh, yeah. for in entrepreneurship. Now, yeah. see, help us catch up with you, see, because I know you have done one, two, three things, you know, let us catch up with you. It's, in fact, I, I let me show my, my audience. You are the co-author of In Pursuits, okay? Yeah. Journeys in African Entrepreneurship, all right? Correct. So, Tell my audience who you are again, so that they can they can they can remember and say, "Hey, this this guy." Let's hear what is up to now nowadays. Okay, all right. Okay, so my name is Oswald Osaitin Gobadia. Uh, I'm an author, as you've just shown the book, uh, yeah. In Pursuit, which has become uh, a great source of joy and pride when people talk about it and people come up to you and reference the book as something they've they've leaned on you know during their their ongoing journey yeah. of entrepreneurship and uh one of the key things in that book is the fact that you know you're not alone we're all in it together whatever you're experiencing somebody's already experienced it or somebody's about to experience it so we must share these stories and yeah. i encourage everybody to write i encourage everybody to write the book um as you said i also was uh Recently, well, not recently anymore. It's over. It's over a year ago now. Time mm. flies. Uh, working for the last administration uh, for the president as a senior special assistant, uh, basically an advisor on technology. And uh, since then, I have now moved on to starting a firm called Digite, and uh, we are primarily focused on policy development, advisory work, and execution of those policies, so implementation of those policies. Um, and, and, and jokingly, I, I call myself the digital evangelist, uh, because I believe in the digitalization of, of Africa, mm. uh, that Africa has a great opportunity to create value in the world. And, um, this process of digitalization is critical, uh, to that. So I find myself being invited to speak on the topic, uh, being invited to contribute to a number of, um, programs that happen across the continent yeah and uh and i've just jokingly amongst friends and now it's not so much among friends because it's now i now formally say it that i'm you know a digital evangelist and that's what i kind of do now yeah good 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 see i will tell you this i struggle to to pronounce the digitization yes Ooh, i tried i tried i tried okay ah. so yes yes <laughs> see most of us don't really understand what that means okay yeah so please give us the layman's terms what is digitalization yeah so that's what's quite interesting about this is a lot of times when people say digitization yes um, they actually mean digital digitalization yeah okay okay what is that so, so they're like, they're like two terms that are mixed interchangeably. Okay. And it gets to a point where you're just like, all right, it doesn't matter. Just call the one you like. <laughs> you know, digitalization is even to say, but digitalization is the one I struggle with. Ah, um, okay. Yeah. So, but the difference is is quite the, is actually this, right? So digitalization is just really turning paper to data. Okay. Right? Good. But when you digitize something, you basically, you know, you you turn from analog to digital. Mm. Right. So when back in the day when we when we had a a VHS and stuff and you want to digitize it, yes, it was you moving it from that form to another. Yeah. So that's like I mean in in a, in a, in an everyday sense now you know you think about when you take paper, uh, something written and you take it to being you know documented in a digital space as the digitization process and it's critical and it's a key component to the digitalization, uh, program. Right. Okay. Um, so the digitization is what you do when you go ahead and you document and you move data and create data and you, you store it, um, which is important to the whole process. Why digitalization is the is the automation, digital automation, where you mm. now create processes and you um, uh, you take the digitalized data and you use it to improve your workflow. So that's digitalization. So when you start thinking of how a company 
uh, moves from doing things sort of manual and analog to now being more automated and computerized. That is the ultimate program, which is digitalization. Okay. And, um, what we're asking to happen on the continent is both digitization and digitalization. Yeah. And my fear is that if we if we if we mix them together, uh, <laughs> we may not we may not <laughs> we may not do both in the rightful order. Right? Hmm. Because you cannot digitalize, digitalize without having digitized. Um, hmm. And hmm. that tends to be some of the problems that, that we have in, in some of the ideas of leapfrogging. You want to leapfrog into AI, but you are still... But you don't know the foundation. You don't have anything. You don't have a data pool. So we have to go through the steps. Hmm. So that's pretty much, pretty much it. Okay. See, 